Hey guys, it's Kevin Stumpf here. I am the Great Plains Regional Manager for Your Tech USA and co-owner of OnSite Discovery. And in both these entities, we utilize dynamic cone penetrometer testing nearly on a daily basis. Um, it's very important to what we do because it gives us an indication of where and how bad the issues are with your subgrade. We can do this under roadways, under grain bends, any type of asset. All we do is drill a two inch hole and then we use this machine here to l hydraulically lift and drop a heavy hammer onto the rods and we count how many times we have to do that to move the rods 10 centimeters. Now, this gives us an indication of the overall load bearing capacity of the soils. Now, it's not a full geotech report and we understand that, but it is very fast, it's versatile, we can get this machine and we have others that we can get in and out of almost any type of building or out on a roadway, you name it. Um, it also can go very deep or we can do shallow testing with it. I mean, we've done tests down to 30 plus feet, okay? In addition, it's very accurate. Because we're taking a reading every 10 centimeters, we know that, for instance, you have an issue at five feet, four inches. We can you know, strategically target that location and, and treat it with our Eurotech deep injection process. Okay, and the other thing is, this testing is very low cost. This can be done at a cost you can justify and in most cases below discretionary spending limits. So it's fast, it's versatile, it's accurate, and it gives you quantifiable data that you may need to take to decision makers to help them understand what's really going on under those soil under, underneath your asset in order to justify an appropriate remediation approach. So guys, thanks for taking time to watch this. I'm going to add on some videos and I'm going to talk you through them here at the end of this video showing you different types of DCP machines and some tests we've done along the way and what to look forward to. All right, so thanks guys. We'll see ya. Okay guys, thanks for sticking around and watching some more of these DCP videos with me. This is an example of our three-man DCP unit. Uh, it just takes three guys to operate. And this is what you're going to see the Eurotech USA crews running around with primarily because it's modular and packs away easy in their rigs. So it has all the same specifications as our Rover-based DCP unit, but it's just a little easier to move around. Now what you're going to see here is an example of a pretty good DCP test. They're getting about 10 to 12 hits per 10 centimeters here. And that's an indication that, that the subgrade's pretty good at that location where they're testing. Okay. Okay guys, here's some examples that are really bad. These are the ugly DCP tests where the actual weight of the hammer is pushing the rods through the soil. Okay. So what this gentleman in the video is going to do is he's going to reach in and grab those, those rods so they don't fall through. We don't want to lose them, right? Okay. So in this case here, this is in South Dakota, and you can see where they cut the cement out and put an asphalt patch in it. This is actually sliding three to four feet without even striking the hammer. So obviously their issue is subgrade issues. Thanks guys for watching these videos with me and I appreciate your time. Bye. All right guys, thanks for taking the time to watch these videos about DCPs with me. There may be a location or two you have in mind where knowing what's going on underneath your asset may be beneficial to you. The process is very easy. All you have to do is reach out to me via phone or email and we'll set up a time to discuss it, maybe even get on site with you and take a look at it. So thanks again for your time and I appreciate it. See ya.